Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Feels like it's been a while since I told you that on this channel, we regularly upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. This video is uncut. In today's Uncut video, we got a special guest in the house. I'll have to show you who that is in just a second. Probably haven't seen her in quite some time. I don't know why she's hiding her face. But... So there's a couple things. A, we do have a surprise guest. B, I have a clutch that hatched out from an animal that I was not expecting at all to have a clutch. In fact, I thought a while ago that she was gravid, maybe. And I was like, well, because she's huge. Looked like she swallowed a actual football, not just like a kind of a football, but like an actual football. And I was like, she must be gravid. But then she never laid any eggs. But then she did. Uh, and she left this huge rat in the enclosure where I was like, she, she's never done that ever before, ever. And I was like, I didn't think too much of it other than it was weird. And then there were eggs. And see if you can guess what the clutch is from, which animal, the, the color of my lights over there on the reticulated python enclosures is supposed to be a clue for you to guess what. Um, and also, it's, it's a long video. I've got a, a box over there that I need to open up. So we'll, uh, we'll open up that box as well if this video doesn't get too long, checking out the clutch. Um, you want to come in here, special guest? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You did a really good job staying quiet. Um, for the <laughs> it's my mom. It's my mom. It's his mom. Hi. <laughs> hey. I'm back. You made yourself really well lit there when you were standing under this oh, light. I know I've got you. the I've got this nice big beautiful light that we're like, oh, you know what? You got me this for my birthday like years and years did ago. I? Yeah, you did. Did you wow. know that? You know that? You're welcome. And your Thanks. birthday's coming up. My birthday is coming up. Oh yeah. Hint. <laughs> it was a good day. Was it? <laughs> yeah, it was a great day. I was like amazed. I was just like, wow, look what I did. <laughs> well, not by myself, obviously, but you know, it was just an amazing time. <laughs> Sweet. Wish I, I, I could made remember. A human. <laughs> So check, check this out. Yeah, that's that's awesome. We, here's the here's the snake, and here's wow. the clutch. Did you did you wait? Did you guess below based on the color back there, or are you are you cheating? Because if you're cheating, then you know you are. <laughs> yeah. Hi, sangria. Yeah, it's sangria. It is our red blood python. That's why I made the red light. Are you the mama? She is the mama. And again, I wasn't expecting her to have this clutch when I just opened up the enclosure. I was planning to just do a little routine cleaning and there was a clutch. So that's pretty cool because I just kind of wrote off that we weren't going to have a blood python clutch this season. Um, but apparently I was way wrong. And here's something interesting. As you guys know, who've been watching the channel for a while, I, we've been doing, we're just been letting the moms keep the eggs and we'll do the same thing with her. She's done something interesting here. There's a couple eggs here that are, like this one is kind of, probably not good is mostly looking infertile like she kicked that one out these, all of these she kicked out off to the side this one has like partially you know looks like it could be good but then it's half like slug looking these ones are just clear slugs totally infertile eggs but then these two are, are look like they would be pretty good now here's the thing i took both of these eggs and gave them back to her uh twice now and she keeps kicking them back out so what i'm gonna do first of all is that we're gonna hi sangria you're a good mom. She's good. Oh, Speaking of good moms, yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to kind of move her side. And I say she's a good mom, a really good mom. I guess would probably, probably try and kill me for doing this. But she, I say she's a good mom because she's not trying to kill me. So that's what I did do is I, I moved her. Um, I moved the eggs. She was kind of off them a little bit. And they were kind of adhered to the bottom of the tub. So what I did, went ahead and did is kind of move them a little bit so that they weren't stuck anymore. So if she wanted to move them, slide them around, find a like slightly better temperature for them, then she could move them and they're not totally adhered to the bottom of the tub. So I did that. I also just kind of wanted to see how many, I haven't done this, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 19, 20 if she'll keep them. Um, but it's not looking promising, being that she's kicked them out twice already. Uh, we'll see. But there's 1920. I kind of want to take a mark. Mom, would you grab a pen over there real quick? Yeah. Hello, Tiny T. Or would I find a pen? Yeah, there's a over over here. There should be a pen, um, right in that little cup over there. 
you could grab one of those pens, that'd be fantastic. And we could- Sharpie okay or? Yeah, Sharpie's, Sharpie's fine. I'm just, I'm just gonna make a tiny dot just so I can make sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can tell those eggs already, but I'm just gonna make a little tiny dot on each of them. Boop, boop. Yeah, about three dots, just so they're obvious. Two, three little tiny dots there. And then, so if she kicks those out, then I'll, it'll be obvious that they have those three little dots on them. But pretty excited to have a blood python clutch this season, saying as we've kind of wrote off that we weren't gonna have one, or wrote off that we were gonna have one, whatever I'm trying to say. And uh, yeah, why is my focus area off? Let's fix that, there we go. I don't know why it keeps doing that. What do you think? I think that's amazing that there, there are so many of them. Wow, she is one of my favorites. Yeah, you were saying that in the car yeah, on, yeah, on the yeah. drive over. What, what is it about her, would you say, that makes her one of your favorites? I don't know, it's just, she's just, um, something about when I hold her, she just feels comforting, you know, cause she's heavy and she just feels like a little comfortable little love. A comfortable little <laughs> love. You heard it here first folks from uh, a lady who doesn't necessarily have affinities for snakes whatsoever. Hey. I, I've grown affinitive. You've grown affinitive? <laughs> right, but you've grown, you didn't start. You didn't... I did not start affinitive. I no. was very, I don't even know if that's a word anymore, but. Uh, but yeah. you, you grew a slight affinity apparently to call a blood python a little, a little love. love. A yeah. little love. Yeah, Look she's... at you, Sangria. You're just a little love. She's so calm. Love. Yeah, exactly. What did I say? She is super calm. I mean, the fact that I can reach in there and kind of pet her eggs and she doesn't try and destroy my hand. I think some blood pythons, uh, you know, have gotten, they've, they've gotten the, uh, what do you call it, the, the temper, the, not the temperament, but the bad rap of being like very temperamental and like putting your hand anywhere near them would be ill-advised, especially if they have a clutch of eggs, but she's a... Is she, this her first clutch? Second no, clutch? this is her th at least third, okay. at least third. This might be f number four for her actually. Wow. Is that, number, is that right? Number four? There's at least three. I'll have to look at my records, but I'm Who's for sure at least three. Where's dad? Who's dad? Um, dad is actually from my boy Travis Johnson. Oh. Okay. Um, he's over there. He's, he didn't have a name when he came here, but I named him Sangre. So, yeah. Uh, and this will be there. She's the only, that's the only pairing I've ever done with them is the, those two, Sangre and Sangria doing their. When will they be ready? Um, so up. the interesting thing about blood python eggs is blood, blood pythons do a lot things a lot slower like they poop like once a year I don't know if you knew that on, on average they'll have one defecation movement a year um, and then otherwise uh, And then they have really slow metabolism, but they have a similar uh, incubation time on their eggs um, Gestation time that's a, just not gestation. I guess whatever. It's about 55 days on average about about two months um, Okay, and then they should be out which is very similar to ball pythons mm. And it's about where the similarities between these guys and ball pythons um, end, other than that they're both pythons. And how old is she? She's like eight? She nine? is at least, I got her in 2015. So yeah, okay. she's she's at least nine. She's probably a little older than, you know, she wasn't just born hash when I got her. She was already whatever, however old. She was still a hashling, but giant keeper reptiles. That's where I got her way back. San Diego mm -hmm. Reptile Super Show. Nice. Um, so what we're going to do next is, I guess we're going to open up that box. Yeah, we'll close up this box, and we'll open up that other box, and we'll see what's going on with that, because I think we have time. I'm not sure how long we've been doing this video, but you got it, you got it. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Put your back into it. There you go. I work out. <laughs> Freedom <Bridger> Racks. <laughs> Let me, uh, here, you want to you you open the box? Or you want to take the camera and all I'll of the box? I'll take the camera. You take the camera okay. all of the box. Oh, what am I looking at? You're looking at the monitor screen. Monitor screen. To, to um, well, your finger oh. is definitely in front of the lens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, if you look in that monitor right there, you this can see is. what you're shooting. Right now all you're right. filming the box. I think you know that, okay. right? Okay, right. You, you know what you, is that what I want to do or do I want to look at you? That's up to you, look but as long as you, you know are. What it is you're shooting? Because yes. your finger's still kind of oh, maybe in the shot. Okay. No, that's fine. That'd be that'd be classic. I'm pretty sure you've got a handful of pictures. Would be with the your... first time I had a finger in the figure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think so either. But that's that's really neat. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, dude, Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I totally meant at some point to talk excessively about. It. Look, isn't that neat? How neat, neat is that? I, I totally neat. forgot to do it. Yeah. So oh, this is a box. Get? 
of yeah. paper and bubble wrap and more yeah. bubble wrap and and drum roll. Oh. What? These are red line paddles. Oh, with extra. I was wondering what that was in there. If you guys missed Robin and I having an epic uh, battle, he's working on. He's practicing so that he doesn't get whooped as bad as he did the last time we played on that uncut video up in uh, Washington. But he's been making his own custom paddles, and these are for the family to play with. So when we go out and play as a family, we can all just like. Nice. Bap, bap, bap. Um. Speaking of things I haven't mentioned in this video, yesterday the voting at Snake Discovery for the Snake Discovery build off started. And Emily did a thing where she read off all of our, some of the enclosures you can tell already, like who built them without having to know. Because she's doing a thing this year where she's reading off the elevator pitches that we gave for our enclosures but herself so that you don't know who's you're voting for the first day and then she'll reveal on a net following video who built them even though if you watched followed anything at all it's going to be obvious like some people's logos are on their pirate ships and whatnot which might be the one that wins i really just be just from the way that like the whole character building i just love that but if you truly are going for an enclosure mine has a pretty decent chance of winning i'm not i'm not like i'm not banking on being the grand overall champion of the entire build off that was been going for long last for four years but i'm pretty happy i'm i'm definitely happy with my own enclosure i really wanted to bring it home and with me and I, I had to leave it is You'll, it voting over uh, voting starts voting voting started yesterday okay and you can vote all the way up until sunday so go check out the uh snake discovery build off thing i'll have a video for that this weekend showing kind of the experience that we had during the build off and you can look forward to that then and other than that, anything you'd like to say to these folks that haven't seen you for a while? <laughs> um, and, uh, hi. <laughs> no, I, just, <laughs> I still feel awkward doing yeah, these yeah. things. You probably feel awkward for the rest of your life doing <laughs> these. And it's totally fine. <laughs> well, y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.